think health and social care integration is a is a process we're going through. I think most of the world has decided that the silos of having health over here and social care over here and third sector over here are artificially created by us and the patients and the families don't see those same distinctions and when they do see them they're a bad thing, they're a negative thing. So I think the integration of all of those sectors or people or workforces around the patient and the family are where we've been headed for a decade. What, what we've now done is we've made that more official, we've made it more structural and I see examples now as I go around the country and as I hear people speaking and hear of that really changing the way patients and families receive their care. And when I talk this afternoon, I'm going to use some examples of where that has really made a difference for people. This event every year is uh, interesting. It brings together the workers and the leaders and the integrated workforce of the National Health Service and the social care sector. We've tried to move this year particularly towards a slightly more integrated approach to health and social care and that's represented I think in the people who have come. It's represented in the slightly more comfortable surroundings we find ourselves in at this part of the exhibition hall but also in the people who are here. So I've met some people who are optometrists, I've met some social workers, I've met nurses. So it's a broad group, 1,600 people from all over the health and social care service.